I've only been able to put this Jazz Master down if I'm picking up the other one. Not only because the body is so comfortably contoured, but because the combination of the C shape, 7.25 inch radius, and Fender's vintage style frets makes the neck feel like it was made specifically for my left hand, and that's despite the glossy finish on the back and fingerboard. Before sharing my thoughts in depth though, I'd like to share some sounds, starting with a direct sound so you can hear the guitar at its absolute cleanest. These vintage 65 pickups are very versatile, and that's without taking the additional rhythm circuitry into account. They have a low output with a balanced frequency response, and that makes them perfect for handling a variety of tunings and effects because low end buildup or piercing high end is very unlikely. I've had is with the trim. That's through user error on my part though. I'm not good enough to implement a tremolo creatively or effectively in my playing. With that said, it's apparent even to me that this is a stable and fun trim system, so I don't think it'll be too hard for me to find a comfortable approach to using it. Switching tunings here gives me a good opportunity to highlight how well the Jazz Master handles alternate tunings. As noted, I went all the way from standard down to drop A sharp, and the only thing I changed was the intonation for each tuning. 
and going through all those tunings with the 10 to 46 gauge factory strings, there was surprisingly a nice playable tension and no buzzing. It's fascinating from a mechanical perspective because its ability to handle those tunings so well with those gauges goes beyond the scale length and machine heads. I've got guitars with stable tuners in the same 25 and a half inch scale length that are very picky with the string gauge I use for which tuning. I'll either have issues with the tension, string height, the intonation that will necessitate specific string gauges. That doesn't happen on this Jazzmaster, and I suspect it's the tailpiece and bridge that's responsible for that. I touched on the versatility from the electronics perspective earlier when I mentioned the balance response of the pickups. I should expand on that by pointing out just how useful I find the tone knobs on both the lead and rhythm circuits. I know a lot of people don't utilize the full sweep of tone pods, I can understand that approach, especially with humbuckers, but for me with Fender guitars, given their overall brightness, I find tone pods very useful for tone shaping. especially inspiring to play. In fact, I'll break the fourth wall to say this was the easiest video for me to make to date because I had the easiest time noodling around on it. Thanks for watching.